Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. This is going to be another episode of I watch TikTok so you don't have to. For those of you that might be new to my channel, I started the series because I have been informed by many, many of my viewers that they are just not interested in downloading another app, particularly TikTok. I personally fought the urge to download it for the longest time, but like many people, I eventually caved. And I'm not gonna lie, I have found so much good information from dinner recipes to products I never knew I needed to travel hacks and makeup hacks. Even as someone who has been in the beauty industry for more than 25 years, I always get super excited when I see something that I have not seen before. So when I saw these three hacks on TikTok, tried them for myself, and saw how they actually improved my makeup game, as they say, I knew I had to share them with you. First up is a foundation application technique that I heard about from this woman right here. Her name is Stephanie Holman, and she is from the television show Real Housewives of Dallas. And in this video, she talks about how over the years she has gotten her makeup done by many, many different makeup artists. And from all of those experiences, she has picked up a lot of different tips and tricks. When she started talking about how this very, very simple makeup application technique, which you will not believe how simple it is, when she started talking about how much better her foundation was looking, even though she never felt her foundation looked bad, but when she saw the results from this method, she was truly blown away. So when you or I hear that, what do we do? We immediately have to try it. In most of my foundation and concealer tutorials, I do talk about using a metal tray like this to pump out your foundation or pump out your concealer. I am never going to be one of those people that takes the product and pumps it onto their face or directly onto the brush or directly onto the sponge. I've always felt that pumping the product out onto a tray and then dipping your brush into it was the best way to apply your foundation or your concealer. But this hack takes it to the next level. So by now you are probably all screaming at the screen right now saying, Risa, what is the hack? Well, instead of pumping your foundation onto a tray or the back of your hand, or even placing dots around your face and then blending it out, you are going to pump that foundation into the palm of your hand. And then you are going to take your foundation brush and you're not going to go like this. Uh-uh. What you're going to do is you're going to take the brush and you are going to push that brush down into the palm of your hand, swirling the foundation around and around and getting the product evenly distributed within the bristles of the brush. Then you are going to take the brush and bounce it or stipple it all around the face. I always start with one side of the face and then move on to the other side. As you can see here, the foundation is going on evenly. It's not patchy at all. I'm not emphasizing any of my texture. And yes, a lot of this has to do with the actual foundation I'm using, but I have tried this method now with probably six or seven different foundations that I own, and my results have always been improved from what they were had I not done this application method. Yes, I am well aware that the foundation shade is a little bit off and the lighting makes it look even more off, but I assure you at the end of this video, when you see all of my makeup done in natural light using my iPhone, you will notice that I have made everything perfectly even. Words cannot describe how happy I have been with the results of this foundation technique. I don't use any filters on my videos. I am almost 51 years old, no Botox, no fillers, and I am just wowed by the results of this foundation application technique. Next up is a nose contouring technique from the creator Sienna Sky. As soon as I saw this, I thought to myself, what is she doing? I mean, I've obviously seen people use contour sticks. I've seen people use eyeshadows before to contour their nose, but I personally have never seen anyone use a lip pencil to contour their nose. So that was something else I immediately had to test out. Now, that creator, in my opinion, already has the most perfect nose. I would be thrilled if I had that nose. As many of my regular viewers know, I did have a rhinoplasty in 1994, 
and I have never been happy with the results. Although over the years, I do feel like things have gotten worse and some viewers just love to point that out to me that my nose could use a little bit of fixing. However, I am not ready to do that for reasons that I've shared before, but for the sake of time in this video, I'm not gonna get into it. The point of me sharing that with you is that I feel that to prove a contouring hack works, you kind of need to test it out on someone who could use a little bit more help than that beautiful girl. Now in her video, she used a lip pencil from Kylie Cosmetics. I believe she said it was called Stone. I do not have that, but I do have something that I thought was similar, which is Endless Cacao from Makeup Forever. So that is what I'm using here. She obviously did hers much more quickly and easily than I did, because to be honest with you, I'm still practicing this technique. First off, I think this Endless Cacao is the perfect, perfect shade for this technique because it is a cool toned brown. Again, very similar to the shade she used in her demo. So as you can see, I drew two lines down the side of my nose, a little bit across the bottom. I do have one nostril that is collapsed. So although it might be difficult to see with a naked eye, the right side, my right nostril does hang down a little bit lower than the left. I have a little indentation right under here. So what I did was I carved out this area a little bit more to make it more in line with this side. And then I just happened to have the same brush she was using, which is the Patrick Ta Nose Contour Brush. That is honestly one of the easiest, most effective contour techniques I have ever tried. And my final hack is for the brows. Now at the beginning of this video, I did say that these were all techniques that I have seen on TikTok. Well, this last one is something that I saw Makeup by Ariel do, and I don't believe I saw it on his TikTok. I believe I saw it somewhere else and I can't remember where. I recently went down the Makeup by Ariel tutorial rabbit hole. I came across one of his looks recently and it just reminded me of how much I love his aesthetic, the way he does makeup. It's just so soft and blended, never overdone. So I went on Google, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, everywhere to find videos of him doing makeup or watching people that have learned directly from him, gone to one of his master classes. I really wanted to know the ins and outs of his techniques. And one of the techniques that really stood out to me as someone who struggles with their brows was what I'm about to show you. But of course, I wanna do a little bit of explaining first and show you what Makeup by Ariel's brows not his brows, but his client's brows look like. Do you see how soft and sort of faded in the front they are? I have struggled for years to get that look. Yes, I'm a makeup artist that has worked on thousands and thousands of faces. However, I struggle with brows. I'll be honest with you, every makeup artist has something that they struggle with or think that they can improve on. And a lot of makeup artists will spend their time perfecting and learning from others on how to do that thing that they struggle with. So about six or seven years ago, when microblading first became popular, I thought I had done my research pretty well and chosen someone who would give me the result I was looking for, had been through all the training. And being that I do have very sparse blonde eyebrows, I thought that microblading would be perfect for me. However, after about a couple of months, I realized what a mistake it was not only did the microneedling basically damage the hair follicle to the point that I do not have any brow hair growing back towards the front of my brow, for the longest time, everything underneath the microblading was green. It's like getting a tattoo and having it fade to a really unattractive green. So any product I would try to put on top of it Number one, wouldn't adhere very well. And number two, being that there was green behind it, the color kind of changed. And let's just say it wasn't attractive. So I have used powders, pencils, pens, pomades, you name it to get my brows looking good. And most of the time I think they look decent, but I have always wanted that beautiful Makeup by Ariel soft gradient. So with this technique, what you do is you fill in your brows. Now, Ariel says that he can take up to 20 minutes. He might've even said 30 minutes to do eyebrows. So in a lot of his tutorials, he doesn't even show you how he does the brows because he says that he is so meticulous. Now, there's no way I'm spending 
15, 20, 25 minutes on my brows. I, I like to spend two or three minutes tops. So now what I do is I fill in my brow as usual with a brow pencil or a pomade. I do have a tendency to switch off. Then I set my brows with a little brow gel. And then what Ariel does is he takes a fluffy brush. This one is from his collection with Morphe, taps it into a little loose powder, then taps off the excess, and then taps it onto the very front of the brow. Not only does that diffuse the color towards the front of the brow and give it that gradient, it also helps to keep the brows in place. Since I have been doing this technique, my brows have never looked so natural and stayed on nearly as long. Even with setting spray, I'd always feel like my brows would somehow disappear after 10, 12 hours, but not after I do this method. Don't get me wrong, I don't think that this is some drastic change, especially not to the average viewer who's not looking at my face as closely as I am every single day. But when I look in the mirror now, after using this foundation technique, this nose contour technique, and this brow hack, I am just so much more pleased with my overall makeup look. I think we all get into that kind of rut or we have those days where we look in the mirror and we just think, ugh, nothing looks right. My hair doesn't look right. My body doesn't look right. My makeup doesn't look right. And when we start to feel that way, I think it's really, really important to try new things, to step out of our comfort zone, to maybe seek out some help, which is probably why you clicked on this video because you are intrigued. You are interested in hearing what some other options are out there for upping your makeup game. And that's the whole reason why I'm here and why I do videos like this. So if you did enjoy this video, I really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will consider doing so. I do upload new videos at least twice per week. You can also find more content from me over on TikTok and on Instagram. My username is the same everywhere. It's Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.